Good morning, I'm your Mayor John Leach Jr. I'm here this morning to do another edition of Let's Talk Sholo. I'm with our airport manager, Jacob Allen. Good morning, Jacob, how are you this Good morning? morning, Mr. Mayor, how are you doing? So what I'd like to do first is tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what brought you to Sholo. Like you said, my name is Jacob Allen and uh, I've been in Sholo now for about a year and a half. I've been in Arizona for 12 years and uh, I've worked at a couple of different airports around the state of Arizona and I'm just really happy to be in Sholo now. And uh, we have a lot of activities going on at the airport and hopefully we can tell you a little bit about what we do here uh, during the show. And, and he hasn't said anything, he's got all his time in and everything, but he did. I guess you can have that and not be a pilot, but Jacob is a pilot, so it's pretty cool. His airplane's sitting right over there. Um, as a pilot, how do you like flying in our community and, and mainly landing at this airport? I know we've got two different runways that face two different directions, I believe. Tell, tell us a little bit about flying into Sholo. Uh, Sholo's a beautiful airport. The White Mountains obviously is a beautiful place to fly over. We have people uh, come up from the valley in Tucson all the time. I'd like to encourage uh, as much general aviation as possible here at the airport. We see all types, all people, all types of aircraft. We have a uh, 7,200 foot runway. Uh, so that's, that's large enough to handle a lot of business jets. Um, but certainly smaller aircraft. Our smaller crosswind runway is only 3,800 feet, but it's more than enough for a smaller aircraft like iFly or, or a lot of these that you're seeing around here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great airport, airport to fly into. Um, you know, I'm not just saying that. <laughs> right. But, uh, but I, uh, I, definitely, I definitely like Sholo and uh, I've, really, I've really enjoyed all the flying I've done out of here and we really encourage everybody to, uh, to come up and check it out for yourself. So Jacob, let's talk a little bit about some of the fire prevention stuff that is actually out here, the helicopters and some of the, the retardant that's out here. I know they, they set up and they, they bring their own fuel, I believe, um, the government, and they set up here on standby. This is just a nice central location where uh, there's a lot of potential right. for, uh, for fire. So we, every single year we have uh, large firefighting outfits come out and uh, and utilize the airport. You know, and I've been out here a few times when those helicopters are taking off and they're amazing. Oh yeah, they're they're bigger than they look in the sky. That's yeah. for sure. Because when they're when they're sitting on the tarmac here, they're absolutely ginormous. So they're it's pretty cool to watch those take off. But there is a lot of things that are going on here. You know, it's it's just not people flying in, coming to visit our beautiful community of the White Mountains, but. There's events that happen out at the airport that, that some people don't even realize. So, I mean, you got these big hangars, there's dances out here. You know, we have a essential air service out here where people could fly in and fly out. So there's a lot of things going on out here that you don't know about. But what I'd like to challenge people to really come down and check out the airport, come and meet Jacob. I mean, it's there. there is a lot of things going out here. Even just watching the airplanes taking off and landing is pretty cool. So um, some of the other things they can get out here, I, I think fuel, if you're a pilot and you land in, in Sholo, you can fly in here, um, get fuel, obviously. Yes, sir. Yep. So the city of Sholo runs the, uh, the FBO, which is uh, an acronym for Fixed Based Operator. And uh, so we provide jet fuel and aviation fuel or AVGAS 100 low lead to uh, any private aircraft or chartered aircraft and also the airline service. Uh, so we provide that fuel service uh, among other services here at the airport. So. But you, you know, I, and it's funny that we talk about flying. I, I remember back in the days when I used to fly with my old man, and flying in the wintertime was always amazing to me. Can we, can we still fly in the winter here? What do we, oh. do we prep for that? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. The city of Shoal, another thing that, uh, that the city employees that work here at the airport do, we are responsible for clearing all the snow from the runways and taxiways when it does snow. Uh, we also take care of the, uh, you know, the grass mowing and weed eating out here, and the guys do a really great job. We'll come out here in the middle of the night if it snows overnight, right. and we'll get out here and we'll start uh, running our equipment. We have a very large snow blower and a dump truck plow that we use, and uh, uh, we get all these areas cleared out so that uh, so that we can keep the airport open. So it, it never closes, no matter how bad the weather is. 
call Jacob at the airport here and ask him some of our amenities. You know, I think we're working on a car, a plane wash station. I'm not sure how that's going yet, but I know we've talked about it over the years. We, um, we do have a wash bay. Uh, oh, so nice. if you come to the FBO as a, a pilot that comes in and, and you want, would like to park your aircraft for a month or a day or a week or anything like that, we have tie down fees for those things. And they're very, very reasonable. It's $7 a night to tie down a single engine aircraft. Um, and it goes up from there, but just uh, not not uh, a huge increase between the between the types of aircraft. But uh, we do a lot of other things out here that maybe the community doesn't realize. And uh, uh, so we actually are home to a couple of uh, air air ambulance operators. Uh, Sunrise Air Ambulance is here. Guardian Air is here. Um, obviously, in the summer times, we always have uh, firefighting operations. We have a lot of private hangar storage out here. Two runways. It's a very capable airport, and uh, and we're we're really proud of it. Yeah, and like I said, there's plenty to do out here. Um, if you have any questions, call Jacob at the airport. There's 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 so much stuff. I mean, I enjoy just watching airplanes take off and land. I I guess I'd probably always be in my blood. I'm not going to go toward the pilot part of it, but I I sure enjoy the airport. But anyway, Jacob, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for coming I out. I appreciate everything you do for us, and yes, that's sir. a great airport for sure. Appreciate that. Thank you.